And we're back. So, uh, this was a game we started in Spooktober. We went through, played a few episodes in November. Gave Death Sember a miss because I decided to uh, edit two bad tunes back to back, which he, almost killed me. He decided to do anything but this. And now we're in the month of January. So let's see if I remember what the fuck I'm supposed to do. Uh, we have new microphone equipment, so please let us know how we sound as we play this terrible game. Sorry, I just had to pause to make sure that everything was good. I'm paranoid because I have new equipment. I'm constantly looking over my shoulder to make sure it works. Mm. So what is this game about? Again, <laughs> I'm in a spooky mansion. So you got a dog. All hunting ghosts. I got a dog, yeah. His name is, uh... Uh, Her... Her... Harry? Hey. Shaggy. Shaggy. He's the not Shaggy the, dog. Shaggy is not the dog. It's no, the man. No, he's the he's the Shaggy dog. You idiot. Okay, you so fucking pleb. It's Tim Allen. In the beginning and he's of the movie, he's been cursed because he keeps lying. He's a lawyer who lies, and his kid says, "I wish my dad would stop lying and was also a dog." And on his way to the courtroom, he hits a gypsy, and the dog, like the gypsy, is like, "Dog," and he turns into a dog. And he has to mail a hairball to her or something. He's got to dig up all those holes. There's a tree. And Jim Carrey only can say a thousand words before all the leaves fall off. But here's the and twist. And he'll turn into a dog. Jim Carrey is being driven by an army of smaller Edward Nortons who live in his head. He's like a vehicle. Also, he lives in the White House and he hires an actor who looks exactly like him. I thought that getting Kevin Spacey to play Jim Carrey was a really weird choice. He's also a gynecologist who works with his twin brother. So there's actually four Jim Carreys. They're all played by... Is it Kevin Spacey? What What do you mean? Well, I think one of them is Kevin Spacey. Okay, there's Kevin Spacey. Yeah. Andre Benjamin. Who plays... <laughs> oh, Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg, Andre Benjamin, Kevin Spacey. Uh, whoever the fourth one was. weird that at any time we can only remember two of the four brothers. I usually only remember Andre Benjamin. I always He's the one say, I like. Well, I always want to say it's like Andrew Garfield, but Andrew Garfield's not old enough. It's definitely Andrew Garfield. Andrew one Garfield, of the four brothers was a Andrew, yeah, Andrew Garfield, Tobey Maguire. Um, <laughs> whoever uh, plays Troy and Abed. There you go. Billy D. Williams is their dad. He's like, I thought I told you four brothers to behave and stop leaving all your toys in the middle of the living room where I can trip over them. You know, when I've been drinking this delicious malt liquor, I don't have time to look at my feet as I stumble through the room. I like how Billy D. Williams is doing an ad for malt liquor, but he won't say the brand's name. I believe it's uh, Colt 45. It was Colt 45. Like this Colt 45 I'm holding in my hand. And I swear to God I'll use it if you don't pick up your goddamn toys. And also stop being a racist piece of trash, Mark Wahlberg. Um, I don't think Mark Wahlberg... I think we wrote him out, Chris. Yeah? You gonna give me another piece of paper? Search the hole. I only have one save slot, so I know I didn't come back to a previous save. It's a glory hole for someone who has a massive yet oddly shaped member. No, oh, with teeth! She died because it sounded like her head fractured. That was like a watermelon being split. 
I sat on a watermelon. Oh, you know what it is? I think I I died. Oh god, I got have to do the last play alone now. Wait, is it no, I don't want stamina. I need Panic, lavender, there we mm, go. I want some onion. Huh, this onion looks a lot like mutton. I bet I've used that joke before, but it's been a million years since we played this game. I have a basic idea of where I'm supposed to go, but only very basic. Oh, I think I'm on my right, I'm on the right path to achieving victory. Also, I do need to apologize. The last episode, I got very, very angry. And the audience really, really liked it. So I'm going to become addicted to anger now. Even Goodbye. more so than usual. I quit. I'm out. <laughs> because if you know me in real life, there's two things that drive Chris. Anger and a constant seeking of approval. If you pay attention to anything I do, that's only a guarantee that I'll do it again. Oh, more beef jerky! Oh, I hate this bullshit dumb dumb game for baby squares! I hate beef jerky. It's so overpriced for what you get. It is, actually. It is, yeah. We should make our own jerky. We made our own pizza rolls. <laughs> Come to the Vaughn house. We made our own pizza rolls. Now, I think I... How do I, I did I do this last time, or am I thinking of something else? I... I Dude, Circle I fucking is, do is not confirmation. Know. Pull the lever, crunk. Oh, I guess when I ran into it, so I, I'll kick it. I'll kick it. Kick it. Keep going. Fade to black, I guess. There you go. It's the end of the episode. <laughs> that last kick was so cinematic that we needed to cut to a better angle. But we had to switch out lenses on the camera. Why didn't you just edit it out? This game is filmed in real time. It's like boyhood. I like bridges. Somebody say boyhood? <laughs> Let's talk about our favorite avant-garde directors. Oh shit. Hey, do you wanna come over and watch Gummo with me? Someone was talking about Jim Jarmusch in my ear, they're burning. Is Jim Jarmusch playing Jim Carrey? Is he the fourth brother? It's Jim Jarmusch, Jim Carrey, Andrew Garfield. No, Jim Carrey is not in the movie. But, no, but Jim... It's Kevin Spacey as it. Jim Carrey. Andy, I was kind of leading up to something, okay? Okay, okay. Okay, so it's Jim Jarmusch. Jim Carrey, Jim Caviezel, and a Slim Jim. They all live inside Eddie Murphy's head. He's the president, and that president is President Underwood from House of Cards. But, he's hiding from terrorists in his disguise as Jim Carrey in the movie Four Brothers with Mark Wahlberg, Andrew Benjamin, Killer Mike, Jay Z. I think I'm just naming the people who performed on Flip Flop Rock now. Oh, never mind. Well, I don't know who Andrew Benjamin is, but <laughs> Andre Benjamin. He's also being hunted by terrorists. Did Andre Benjamin and Dwayne Johnson decide to drop their their names at the same time? I feel like no, I've... they ran into each other and they both dropped them. Oh, and like they they're like, oh, I'm so sorry, and they picked them up, and now it's Andrew Rock. Or Andre Rock. Damn it, Chris, now you got me Andre doing Andre Rock. I ruined my own joke. Dwayne 3000. Oh my god, could you imagine a Dwayne 3000? If you thought The Rock was powerful, imagine now that he's 2000 times more powerful. I don't know if that map. Hold on. The Rock, is, got, the rock is, at a, is The Rock is at a power level. I would need a golden calculator to divide. Fuck. Good pull. That's a that's a that's a goddamn deep cut, Andy. And those cabbage lights again. I still don't see what the fuck you're talking about. Okay, now I do. They're a little cabbagey. 
Little cabbage lights. Okay, so now the question is, how do I get to that bridge? So that I can play bridge. I'm a little bit distracted by her ponytail physics. This this lady has a lot of bounce, whether it's her hair or goodie bags. I call I, think she I used... call women's breasts goodie bags because I assume they're full of those little plastic spider rings you get at Halloween. If you go to a party, you get one of them, meaning most women have been to two parties. <laughs> Is that why it's a two-party system? In Blade Runner. That woman went to three parties. That's why it's like that. She's not an alien. Did I say Blade Runner? You said Blade Runner. Well, I'm glad that I, I caught it. I think you said alien. <laughs> I think either way you're kind of hold damned. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just here. Just say the words Total Recall and I'll edit it in. People won't notice. Is it Kings of Egypt? Go, Huey. What? Isn't that also a Ridley Scott movie? <laughs> no, it isn't. What's the one, the Pharaoh one? Wait, no, it is. Yeah, you're right. You're I don't wrong. know if it's Kings called of Kings of Egypt. It's something of Egypt. Yeah, yeah. The one that it's not he, gods of Egypt. The one that he cast like white people. As, it's or, the story of Moses. It's really hard to say that because it's like, what's the one movie where they cast white people as Egyptians? Hmm. And you just have a list. But no, no uh, he, he did a movie about, about Moses Total with Russell Crowe. Yeah, which is a Lars von Trier movie. <laughs> no, not Lars von Trier. No, Chris, it's Mark Wahlberg in his directorial Wal debut. <laughs> it's the town, except Mark Wahlberg instead of that other bean eater. Is that racist? <laughs> Wait, they're from Bean Town, so you call them bean eaters, right? No, no they're you beef don't. eaters. No, Mark Wahlberg is in charge of, of- He's not allowed to smile. Mark Wahlberg is not allowed to smile. No, um... Fuck, what's his name? The, the... The guy who made Robocop. <laughs> Don't you dare I'm sorry. fucking say Kevin Spacey Chris, <laughs> disguised as Lars von Trier. All I can think about is Lars von Trier is Robocop. <laughs> Lars, Robocop has a huge fucking penis. <laughs> Remember when Robocop's dick was too big so they had to get another actor to fake it? In this movie, it's really Robocop fucking. Uh, Paul Verhoeven. Paul Verhoeven, okay. So From, you can see well, how I would get confused no, with no, Lars I, von Trier. I, I, yeah. I get it. Paul Verhoeven, Lars von Trier. No, Paul Verhoeven but from Blambeer Games. It's, it sucks though because Paul Verhoeven's like one of my favorite directors. And I just, yeah. I, I completely Kevin Spacey'd on his name. And my God, he What is, am I even doing? He's going to be watching this Let's Play and he's gonna get so pissed. Okay, hold on, there's green, I push the green. I watched a Let's Play of It'll Do earlier today, and so I think I instinctively know how to solve puzzles. Oh, so green is good, right? Okay. Silver, brown. There's two browns, but you can't, can you pull these? No, you can't. Okay. I, I, I got it. I got it. I got it. Nope. I don't got it. You can't move it at all? I, I can, but I look, it would bump the brown. <laughs> bump that brown, yeah. Let's go to the nightclub, get some drinks, bump that brown. By the way, I'd like to apologize for saying bean eater. I really do realize that that does sound I, I very do. close to a, a offensive slur against is, the Mexican people. Is that like a But 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 I what what do you call people from what was that, Brooklyn? I don't Where know. Where is Bean Boston, Boston. Oh, I th Boston, oh, Boston baked beans. But they're it's called Bean Town. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Do you not do, do we call them beanies? <laughs> like Beanie and Cecil? My second Beanie and Cecil reference of the night. The other one was before we started recording. The other though. one was definitely in a mic test, but okay. I thought bean eater. I thought you were saying like like a bean counter. No. Like he's an accountant. No, he's he's from Bean Town, Boston Baked Bean Town. It's where all the accountants are born, Chris. And it's the only place with talking dogs. 
who can't be trusted. Yeah, we, we might be taking this episode down. <laughs> ah, fuck it. This is a fever dream, I think. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. We've said just about every every famous person in Hollywood's name. Okay, so now... Oh, I know what you call them. What? The people from Boston. Baked Bean Boys. Those Bean Boys are at it again. No, Baked Bean Boys, specifically. And they make Rex Baked Beans. Hey, Andy, <gasps> what do you call that snake that's eating itself? Ouroboros? No, that's not it. That was a real good Nine Lives reference. I'm just gonna say, that's one of my favorite movies. That is, of course, Nicolas Cage being portrayed by John Travolta pretending to be Charlie Kaufman's twin in adaptation. <laughs> there might be a gas leak. <laughs> I think we're fucking- Okay, we found- You got fucking crazy. We found the other moon things. Remember we found the moon thing in the music room? Yeah. Okay, that one's good. Okay, here's the other moon thing. What What are those things on the ceiling? Is that what you're supposed to point them at? Yeah, because like, look, I think the light comes from that. Dude, I wonder what this does. Okay, now I got an extra... Lunar refractor from the first moon thing. Back in episode cough, 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 I don't even fucking remember. I thought that was a reflection of the big guy. I did too! What if you are him? Oh my god, he doesn't exist? Yeah. Or, or are you saying, are you saying he's all in my mind, or that I'm walking by an elaborate house of mirrors <laughs> that are on wheels and pulleys, which is why he's only here some of the time? Or are you saying that Kevin Spacey being piloted by a bunch of Eddie Murphys? Wait, people, of... people in the comment section, why do you watch this show? Why the fuck do you even care about this anymore? Andy, who's who's the guy who's Mr. Fish Odor on Bob's Burgers? Is that Kevin Klein? Kevin Klein, he's the one from Dave. You said Kevin Spacey and it confused me. Well, I said that because it's Nine Lives. Cat's Eyes. Oh, I thought you were picking up on my Dave reference. No, I said Kevin Spacey on purpose. Okay. Kevin Spacey, said Shaggy star of A Talking Cat. You said... Hi, I'm Edward Kalen, the Chris no. himself. Listen to my podcast with two dudes who might be the same dude. I thought Hi, we... I'm the other dude. Hi. And I'm also the other dude. I thought we could go one... Like, I... I Without thought... me singing annoying songs. No! I thought we Welcome could go Welcome to the Flop House. Song. I gotta get back to making these wooden shoes before the cobbler wakes up. <laughs> we were making fucking fun of the Flophouse so bad until Andy had to point out, you make fun of that Edward guy a lot, but he's the only one like you could pick out, you know, <laughs> of a lineup of the of the of the three of them. The other two guys just might be him, the same man. I could pick him out out of a fucking cast of a thousand people. You bring a thousand people and be like, which one of them is- I've never seen the man in my life. And which one of them is just Kevin Klein twice? Go, Huey. Where is that dog of mine? I don't want to lose my dog. Go, I saved, right? At that clock? I don't know. Okay. Well. I'm gonna- I'm gonna act like I saved. Cause we're actually making progress in this episode. The last two episodes were me being fucking lost. I look up uh, how long it takes to beat this game. You know that series, how long, not series, but like that website, how long it takes to beat? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I fell on another watermelon. 
Oh. Acta est fabula. Okay. Okay, so that room is cursed, and it has a checkerboard pattern, which means it's probably like the room from the game Dracula? The Lost Sanctuary? Or the Last Sanctuary? I forget which. Or that room from uh, Legacy of Kane's Soul Reaver. Whenever you see a room with a checkerboard floor, know that there's a good chance you're gonna fall to your goddamn death. It's a trope. What's this say? Okay. The path beyond the road of darkness, go not without a guide, lest, lest ye lose yourself to the darkness within. This has to mean something, but what? We already fell, so we know. <laughs> we know. No, but it says we need a guide. Do I need that big guy? Um, do you have like a light, like an item? No, I need my fucking dog, I think. If this is like enter the gungeon, just shoot a bunch of bullets, <laughs> and the casings will form a bridge. I think, uh... I think the, uh, having a gun would solve most of our problems in this game. Where is that dog of mine? Nah, but I bet it's the dog. He's, he's a guide. Oh, bluebirds. Ooh, this Can you use the bluebirds as a guide? The bluebird bit me in the butt. <laughs> now my butt I, is big. I think I got bit by a bumblebee. Give me some of that Mundus. Oh shit. Shit. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, he's right there. Oh fuck, if you can just drop him. <laughs> this is game. That's where I'm going. That's where I'm going. This is how you This is some pro strat breaking the game. So what do you think the other monsters are gonna be? Cause like there's a rule of three in these clock tower games. Well no, I guess only clock tower Clock Tower 3 was the one with multiple monsters, wasn't it? Yeah. Also, there was more than three. There was four. <laughs> Wait, hold on. There was six. Shit. Rule of three. Rule of you three. Six times two. No, hold on. There was Hammerman. There was the dude who threw his mother in a vat of acid. There was Kratos. There the were twins. the two twin twins. And then there was your grandpa. Whoa! Fuck off. Shoot him! I don't- You made up the gun! It's not real! Chris, nothing's real to me. Where is the- There he is. You bastard! Ambrosius! Ambrosius, you get down here right now, you coward! I don't know what to do. Who am I? How do I get him? Was it right? Whoa, almost walked into his clothesline. Oh, this is gonna be bad. I'm in a panic state and I'm heading to the wacky... The wacky stairs room. Oh, no, 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 keep going. It's not letting me go through, the door's open. What a silly game this is. Crawl! This isn't crawl. Oh, okay. He's dead, I guess. Whew. Come on. Oh no. Go. Okay, go, 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 go. <laughs> Huey, what are you fucking doing? <sighs> I don't even care anymore, just go. Wait. Wait. I don't know what it does, I'm just gonna eat it. Okay. Oh. Is it over there? Come on. He's gotta smell the floor. Go. Smell that floor, Huey. These fucking blue things keep attacking me. Go. 
Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, and he's doing it! I can't control- see, when this happens, you can't control the character. What a good game design. Whoa, There's and into the pit. Into the fucking pit. Nice. <laughs> oh my god, this game! Who made this game? Kevin Spacey pretending to be Shigeru Miyamoto? Absolutely not. Who, who makes this? This is Capcom, right? Who the f who even fucking knows? The yeah, it's person, Capcom. Yeah, the only person I know at Capcom is Kevin Spacey. <laughs> well, who is Ono? Is like he was a big Capcom guy, right? Yeah, but I don't know if he worked on this. Well, no, I know for a fact he didn't. Ono, like I'm he, saying, he, like I can't think of anyone see, who works at Capcom except for Ono. Ono, and, they put in a basement and we're like, you better work on Street Fighter games till you fucking and, die. And Afune, and not in a fune worked for yeah he's the he's, he's the mega man guy right uh i think he's half of the oh, two the people guy, who okay who's the guy who took man. all the credit and then made that terrible mighty number no. nine game inafune okay so in inafune and and dead rising inafune go huey wait he made dead rising that's why in dead rising 2 uh his jacket is ijike I thought that was like a like a like a playful jab at someone who worked there. No, it's Kiji backwards. No, Kiji. no, no. But I'm saying like I didn't. Oh, oh. Okay. I don't think he did that. I think the guy who made Dead Rising did that. Huh? Like as a joke for like, hey, you work here. I didn't know that. Like if he did that, then he's an egotistical <coughs> prick. But if someone else did that, then it's just a fun goof on your friend. Only Kojima can do that, you fool, and he doesn't even work for this company. Clover used to be part of Capcom, right? Uh, yeah, it did. But Platinum came out of Clover. Yeah. Who's the guy in charge of Kamiya? Uh, yeah. Okay. Hideki Kamiya. Okay. So, okay, I actually do know several people who used to work at Capcom. And this is Amaterasu, which was a Clover <laughs> game. Uh, Okami. Is that why I'm sucking so bad? I'm not using a Wiimote to... I can just paint a bridge over this part yeah. and walk over it. Go. Come on. Oh my god, Huey, please don't... Actually, that game originally was on PS2 first, right? And then they ported it? I think so. The I can't remember. I think, yeah, I think so. The Wii was a port, yeah. I think I even owned it on, on PS2 before I had the Wii copy. And then Okami Den is... Oh, I bet people are just loving this conversation. Okay, you want to go back to us just saying actors' names? Yes. No. Please, God, no. Michael Showalter. Michael Ian Black. Wow, that was a great list, Chris. Michael Douglas. <laughs> See, you thought I was just gonna name Stella <laughs> members, but no, I'm just naming Michaels. What are these things? They're not- they're not doing anything. Maybe I have to run them? I love how your- your kick doesn't really look like a kick. It looks like you're skanking. Like you're about to start skanking. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Maybe she's like Sami Zayn. And that's not her kick. That is her skanking. But then when I actually do my kick, it's like a haluva kick and it's like fucking amazing. There are some letters engraved here. To the seeker of the sacred technique of arse you fucking arse! Obey the will of Hermes, divine Cain, and hasten to the secret staircase. A Cain? A friend? It'll... I'll bet that uh, this is related to the goddess statue. Should I search more thoroughly? I don't think so. I think I'm gonna give nah, it a miss. It. it just kills you instantly. Curiosity killed the cat. I'm just gonna stand on this Bible. Do a sweet ollie off of it. Do we ever discuss what that crystal on her neck is? Is that her J.O. crystal? 
I'm pretty sure we have specifically used that joke in the first episode. Well, we got a Saturnus key. And I'm gonna return us this game to GameStop. <laughs> well, we're at the 30 minute mark, so this has been the end of the episode. Bye, everybody. Oh! Are you that baked bean boy I've heard so much about? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he remembered he has to be scary and intimidating. Okay, where am I? Nope. He locked it, of course. I'm gonna kick him up the Y. Maybe it's these things. Okay, maybe it's not. Maybe you have to get him to break them? I don't know. Oh, okay. I hope that's not the case, because he's beating the shit out of me. Oh no, I don't... Oh... Uh, just take everything. Lavender. Good, I do got lavender. No, I need the other one. Uh, is it chamomile? Yes. Okay, there we go. Okay, come on, big boy. Oh, got one, got Holy one. Holy shit, I was right. You were right. Well, I mean... Oh, Lex Loser got her in the torture rack! And Did I call him Lex Loser? <laughs> it's good that we finally mentioned all the members of uh, Outcast. Big boy, Andre 3000, Lex Loser. Yeah. Duh. Was that supposed to do something, or am I free to go? Yes, that's right. Walk into my trap. I played the perfect game of deception, and now y'all trapped on the PS2. <laughs> this is huh? the long. This is the longest game of 13 Dead End Drive I've ever played. No, and this isn't 13 Dead on Drive, it actually worked. Fuck, did we, did we ice the bro? No, we just mildly inconvenienced him. Nope, he's dead. Fucking roll credits, we did it, we beat the game. Shit, Huey, it's not okay. We barely did anything. He's still... Oh, I think we just made him mad. <laughs> We're mildly disappointed in him. Oh, shit! He, he's, he's, he's picking up that we're mildly disappointed and he's apologizing. He's apologizing he's a Japanese businessman who's like, I'm so sorry that, that we sold so many cars without safety belts. Then he gets demoted. Look, I know the virtual boy wasn't a success, but we'll bounce back from this. Well, I guess that was that. Um, is he our friend now? Okay. Must have been quite expensive. Too bad it's been dashed to bits. Well, this has been the last episode of our Let's Play. Uh, we beat the monster. Uh, oof. What do you think, Annie? What do you, what would you rate this on the hauntometer? Ooh. I would give it an eight. 
Because that, like, that's how people want to score games, right? All games get an eight. Yes. And I would give this game at least four more hours. We're not done. Psych, everyone. I'm pretty sure everyone knew you were joking. April Fools. <laughs> this video is going up in April. <laughs> oh, fuck. We were supposed to finish this for Halloween.